In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I take a look at saving some costs by using a different network tier. Will our performance stack up? Stay tuned to find out. If you take a hard look at your application's network data, you'll find that it's not consistent in terms of priority. I mean, it's really nice that your app can use a two terabyte connection for video, but do you really need that much performance when uploading your log content? Or better yet, does it make sense to pay for that performance when uploading your log content? <laughs> this is where Google Cloud's new standard tier networking comes in. It offers lower throughput, higher latency, and lower cost than the default premium tier. The difference between the two tiers has to do with how long packets stay on the public internet. Now, see, in the premium tier, packets enter Google's networks as close to the user as possible and then travel on Google's backbones before getting to the VM. The standard tier, on the other hand, allows packets to enter Google's networks as close to the VM as possible, spending more time traveling on the public internet. And since it's spending less time on Google's network, it costs less as a result. Now, as a developer, there's two big questions. Uh, how much performance am I losing and how much money am I savings? To figure out the first question, let's take a look at the worst case scenario, transferring data across an ocean. I set up two VMs in US Central 1 and configured one of them for the premium tier and the other for the standard tier. Then from a non-GCP machine in the UK, fetched a 100K image from each instance about 500 times. The uh, graph here shows the premium tier is about 41% faster on average than the standard tier. Now we can also run this test in the best case scenario where the client and the server are geographically closer to each other. In this configuration, we can see that the standard tier is only about 8% slower than the premium tier. Now, at the time of this video, GCP's tiered network is still in alpha, so lots of stuff is still in flux. As such, keep an eye on the official site for more information. And if you want to know more about our tests or how you could use the standard tier to save your app some money, check out the article linked in the description below. And don't forget to check out the rest of our Cloud Performance Atlas content, because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts.